Hello everybody! Today we are trying to finish up painting the house. So if you haven't watched those videos from our time in Oklahoma, go ahead and check out the links for them down below. We did a lot of painting after we got back, after all of the drywall went in. Um, we were able to start painting. Um, we painted some doors while we were waiting for the drywall to get finished. And then over the weekend, actually Mother's Day, we painted the majority of all all this and yesterday was the 14th that was my birthday and what I wanted to do for my birthday was work on the house so we um, tried to do the second coat of painting um, so I have some trim to finish up here we have some ceiling touch-ups to do but we are doing this solid blue in oh there's no power Nathan's changing some outlets, so there's no power. I can't turn on any lights, but we're doing this like light blue. It's probably hard to see. Um, we were going to hire somebody to get all the way up there, but my dad was like, we can do that. So they're doing it. Um, so just the edging has to happen. And then the second coat of rollering in this room is gonna have to happen tonight. And I have to do the trim in the hallway and the music room. Another development that has happened since um, you've last been here. The rungs are now white. I think it might need one more coat. We used um, chalk paint and it's the real chalk paint, the Ann Sloan brand. I think it's called, it's like the original chalk paint. Um, so, but I think it needs one more coat and then it will need waxed after that. Also some other developments here. I don't know. I don't think I could turn on the light, but some lighting fixtures were replaced in all of the bathrooms. Nathan took care of replacing all of those. And then we were going to get all new hardware for the bathroom because those were chrome before. But then my mom was like, I wonder if they sell like a spray paint that we can use. So she sponge painted all of the bathroom hardware, the oil rug bronze. So we figured you know, we don't know how long it's gonna last. It might not last all that long, but at least it'll buy some time because, you know, bathroom hardware, that adds up. It could get expensive. So that was cool. My sister painted the interior door here. So that's white now. It was like this yellow off-white that was like the other doors. Um, and then she also painted the interior and exterior of the garage door to be white as well. So the mudroom, some more light fixtures were replaced. That was like a brass one in there. And now it's the oil rubbed bronze. Um, some other things that are going to be happening soon. That lighting fixture is gonna be switched out. We went and bought this mini pendant light right here. Is going to be for that. And then this is going to be our lighting fixture for the dining room over there. Uh, and then hopefully another task we want to accomplish is getting the floor all swept and cleaned up once we're done with all the painting um, so that we can get the flooring laid, which is right there. I don't know if you guys have seen the flooring yet. Um, so it's a vinyl plank flooring um, and we're also gonna glue it down. Even though it's the click, we're gluing it because I don't want any separation between the rooms, those little like I forget what they're called, but there's different like boards that you need to buy to separate the rooms, but I just want it to be all one big long flowing. So that's why we have to glue it down um, because otherwise something about the stress on the floor, it won't work or something like that. Um, the finished bathroom in here, I don't know if you guys remember, I'll include a picture below, but it was like a really dark blue like the blue on the tile there and my mom also sponge painted that fan right up there um because it was like a yellowy nasty and then we replaced that lighting fixture up there um we are going to i was just going to leave the natural wood for the for the cabinets in here um because we decided not to paint the trim all white we're keeping it all natural um, for cleaning purposes, number one, because we did have white trim in our old house. And let me tell you, it looks nice, but it is a pain in the butt to clean. Like 
it, it always shows every single imperfection ever. And if the kids like run into it with a riding toy, bump into it with toys, it dents and it shows big time. So we wanted to keep all the trim, the natural color, because that doesn't show the dirt and the imperfections from running into it quite nearly as much as white does. But I, I don't know, with the bronze there, I wasn't sure that I liked like the natural mirror and then the natural cabinet because I have bronze pull knobs for it. So I ordered this gel stain and my mom and sister have used it before. They used it on my sister's bathroom and it worked really well. So oh, I'm knocking things over. So we're gonna try it. They, it comes in gray. And so we're gonna do this gray gel stain on those cabinets in the master bath. And then that'll just like mix it up a little bit. I think it'll look nice with the floor and pull out the grays in the floor there. So I guess we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna start with trimming, take advantage of the time that Samuel is asleep to get this done. setup that we have for our trim comes from my father-in-law's wife. She said that they set this like mini scaffolding up um, for trim so that you don't have to go like up and down the step ladder. About like halfway through the one wall of the room just on one trip up. So that's been really cool and really helpful. New light fixture going in the music room. We've been painting all day, so I think all the painting is done. I think. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, I got an idea. Does somebody have their phone here with a flashlight? You can't see it from outside, but if we hit, hold the light, your phone light where you're putting it, you'll see where it falls. Okay. Oh, you should see it from out here! It just... <laughs> it's like we got the light going up. My eyes, my arm gets ready to fall. Oh! Down the smidge. That's all we got. There you go. Stop. Is that it? Can you walk out there without hitting your... Yes! Yes, plenty of room. That's, that's the that's light it. right there. Now how do you know? I need a tape measure. Nathan's got a whole little way over its head. There's the finished. Finished the light. It's like really cool. It's like copper and pewter and gold all in there. What do you think, Sam? Do you like the light? Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> it's a good pick. And there's still room to walk underneath of it. So that's important with us tall people, huh? Okay, I think we're all done for tonight. All painting I think is done except for like there's one little patch up. Uh, well, two patch ups actually that have to happen upstairs, but it can't be patched upstairs until a window that's leaking is fixed up there. So um, we'll do the patch, the painting patch ups upstairs once the window's fixed. Um, besides that, there's just some painting. We're doing some cabinet painting. I'll show you. My mom was working on it. It looks amazing right here. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? So it's gonna be like a weathered gray, I think, because I wanted it just to be like light gray, but the stain is, the stain is a lot darker than I thought it was. We decided to make it like a weathered yeah. beach look. I got this. What you got? Um, a juice hug. A juice hug, <laughs> yep. So we're gonna load up the kids and we're gonna head home and probably shower and get to bed. So we're gonna end this vlog here. Make sure to like and subscribe, thumb this video up, and we'll see you next time. Bye.